let's add 249 to 383. Now the first thing you want to do in any type of addition problem, especially when you have multiple digits, is to write the two numbers above and below each other. So we have 200, let me write a little bigger than that, 249 plus 383. And you want to line them up so that we have the same places above and below each other. So the 9 and the 3 are both in the 1's place here, so we've lined them up. The 4 and the 8 are both in the 10's place. And the 2 and the 3 are both in the 100's place. If you had a 1,000's place in one of them and not in the other, it would just kind of be sitting out here by themselves. The easiest thing is just to kind of both make them line up to the right or the 1's place. Now I'll show you the process, but while we do the process, we'll think about a little bit about why it makes sense. So we start at the 1's place, and we say, what is 9 plus 3? So we say 9 plus 3, well, that's equal to 12. That is equal to 12. I'm writing the 1 in 12 in orange on purpose. Because when you want to write the sum down here, you can't write a two-digit number. You can only write a digit between 0 and 9. So what we do is 9 plus 3 is 12. That's the equivalent of 10 plus 2. So we write the 2 in the 1's place. And the 1, which is really representing 10, we put in the 10's place, which hopefully makes sense. This now represents 10. And now we want to add this 10 plus 40 plus 80. It looks like we're adding a 1 to a 4 to an 8, but these are really in the 10's place. So this is really a 10, a 40, and an 80. But if you just think about the process, you just take your 1, you add it to your 4 and your 8, plus 4 plus 8, and what do you get? 1 plus 4 plus 8 is what? 5 plus 8, that is 13. That is 13. I'll write it like, I'll write it like this. And once again, and actually this is in the tens place, so it actually represents 130. But you don't have to think about that. The process is fairly straightforward. If 13, you write the 3 down here, and we regroup the 1. Or you might have learned you carry the 1. And so then you carry the 1 up here. Same process now in the hundreds place. This 1 actually represents 100, because this was actually 130, because it was in the tens place. So we have a 1, we have 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 3. What is that? Well, that's just 6, right? 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 3 is 6. So that is equal to 6. So we write it right over here. So 249 plus 383 is 632.